All right, so I finally have some 4K content. And I'm going to try on my MacBook Air. All right, so let's see. I've got, I've got a few clips here. I'm going to add to the timeline. Uh, yeah, that's fine. A few things in HDR, <laughs> which is this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll get rid of that one. So this is just two minutes of uh, 4K footage. And I'll add a few things. something like that and uh, I'll also add a few transitions Anyway, so I've got two minutes of content. Um, all right, two minutes of content. And we're going to um, export. We're going to do a master file. And so uh, we're going to do 30 frames per second, 4K. And it's going to be a 10 gigabyte file. So uh, let's click on next. Uh, putting it in my movies is fine. And let's see here. Let's see how long this is going to take. So this is the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. Uh, no fan on this MacBook. Um, and it is just blazing through this. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I have videos with a... Uh, Comparing this MacBook Air with the M1 to a 2020 MacBook Pro that I, uh, that's my work MacBook with 16 gigs of RAM, an i7 quad core, and it's much slower at exporting video. It's actually dramatically slower. So I can imagine it would probably be stuck at like 20% right now if we were comparing them. Uh, this thing is just so fast with the video exports. All right, and that's it. So um, it's just remarkably fast. And uh, as you um, saw at the beginning of the video, I uh, I had the settings on, on pretty high. So uh, I basically had the settings uh, like this. So um, 4K footage, 30 frames per second. ProRes 422, uh, pretty high quality stuff. Um, that was pretty damn fast. Uh, the video came out to yeah, 9.7 gigs, so just blazing fast. And my MacBook Air, not even hot, not even warm. Um, yeah, didn't even break a sweat. So uh, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you soon.